Hello, and welcome back to the Meandering Mina YouTube channel. Today's video is a wee meandering in Stirlingshire looking at one of the National Trust for Scotland's properties, the Dunmore Pineapple House. Often referred to as just the Pineapple House or even just the Pineapple, this building is one of Scotland's best known architectural follies, or a building constructed primarily for attention, decoration, or extravagance. For those of you who consider yourselves architectural aficionados and know the great debate of form versus function, a folly is essentially a building in which its form is considered far more notable than its function. Scotland is home to many prominent architects such as Charles Rennie Mackintosh, Alexander Thompson, and Sir Robert Lorimer, among others. The pineapple was designed by Sir William Chambers, a Swedish-Scottish architect for the Earl of Dunmore, hence the name Dunmore Pineapple House. Built in 1761, the Dunmore Pineapple House was built to convey the status of the Earl of Dunmore. At that time, pineapples were exotic, expensive, exciting, and used as indicators of wealth. Many properties, paintings, sculptures, and architectural accents in the UK feature pineapples as ornamental motifs to signify affluence. What better way to tell guests that you're a little more than just financially secure than by building a giant pineapple house? The Dunmore Pineapple House Gardens are free to visit. The building itself is closed, but the gardens and woods around Dunmore are open year-round. The woods behind the pineapple have some lovely walking trails with views of the Oakle Hills. Keep to the paths, pick up after yourself, and be sure to pack some bug spray to keep the midges and ticks at bay. You might never meet anyone who lives in a pineapple under the sea, but at least in Scotland, you could see where someone used to live in a pineapple. Enjoy your outing, and if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you the next time we meander the gorgeous globe together. Bye bye